In this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants. And you know why? Because say with me now, this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. You guys are disappointing. You all missed it. No, you guys are- You all missed it. You, you all missed it. No, I'll include this in the YouTube video, but y'all you missed it. The fucking delay. Okay, let's go. So, Adana's got a crazy power up. She's blind now, though. Like, he can fly? So, like, the healing all works. Why can't she heal herself, though? Basically, Adana's got a bullshit power up. All right. Wait, this is just replaying the end, the final scene last time. Your Majesty. If this Dreadlocks guy like gets defeated in the next five minutes because we just got a bullshit power up, it'll be kind of anticlimactic. I hope this like a pretty hype fight though. Mm. That's loud. <laughs> Was, uh, this, I think this is supposed to be like how strong he is right now. Look at the throw. Animation. Wong. Okay. Couple build. Okay, 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 I see you. Multiple buildings. Physical and magical strength boosted, okay. Oh. It could just snap his hands too, sure. Weird sound effects. This anime is kind of struggling in production budget, I think. So he just turned into a complete simp for um, Doroka, huh? Even the way he talks is like, for the princess. Adonis not having abs is kind of weird to me. Like, look at his abs. Ew. Cause like, look at the dreads guy's abs. They're defined, but then look at Adonis' abs soon. Look at Adonis' abs. It's just like, what is this? What, what, what? It's like a single fucking keg, but he doesn't even have a gut either. Like, it's just, there's no abs. It's a one pack. This is a fucking one pack here, dude. Time out my ass. I'm not gonna wait for you. <laughs> You're just gonna drop rocks on him? That's how we end this? Okay. Okay, the scale of magic is pretty big, guys. Look at all this. Is he about to summon something? It's snowing. Chloe spell. I mean, you should have probably used this before fucking Doroka got her eyes gouged out, but that's nice. The soundtrack, though, it is amazing. I do love the soundtrack of this anime. Sometimes the animation is a little bit jank. Ritual of Ruin. How could there be so many hands coming out of his body? So like, you always had this ridiculous ice magic. But you just never used it. I mean, for the sake of the fight to get hyped up, you can't use like your strongest right away. Plus, he's being powered by Doroka, so maybe there's some limitations there. Oh! Wait. Do that again. This is actually cool. Look at the way that she just coolly says, it's fine. He won't freeze. Was Doroka always this cool? What the fuck? Right now, these two are in sync. These two are actually a dynamic duo right now. Damn. <laughs> Suggestion basically controls the love magic person. This voice acting is funny. So, bro is basically Miyuki from Irregular Magic High School, huh? Bro is basically Skuna's fanboy from Jujutsu Kaisen recently. His ice magic is unparalleled. He's just really strong, okay. Absolute zero. Oh, that's the all-lady squad backup. Nah, I think it's over for him. 
Shouldn't the fire keep happening? Aren't they cold? Don't worry about it. It's fine. I don't know why, but it really looked like the way that he was yelling there. You know, it looked like he was putting in so much effort to get rid of this fucking drone, which is basically the messenger for the all ladies intel squad. What the fuck? It looked like he put in so much effort here just for this. Wow, okay. Well, oh, she's glowing. Now, wouldn't it be nice if she fucking healed her eyes back somehow? But okay, the scale of the ice is insane. This is Mr. Punch's hideout. It's even reaching that far away. So basically, it's just ice magic climate change. Bro is just basically just gonna enact like a forever sleeping slumber of Ice Age. That could be like one way to end this series, huh? Just freeze everything? Adonis might end up killing Mr. Punch's hideout. This is kind of fucked. This is kind of fucked, Adonis. All right, Shirosagi is done. I think of all the fighters we've seen so far, he's the strongest, but like... There's gotta be more to the finale than this, right? There's gotta be more. New character, I think? No, 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 we've met Oz before. I think so. His voice actor is also very familiar. So he'll probably be like the next villain in season two if it ever happens. I doubt it's gonna happen. Like, like cool, it's kind of foreshadowed, but like, does it matter? Is season two ever gonna happen? Who knows? Rainbow. Chloe? No, it's just like memories of Chloe. He's hallucinating. I don't know. This isn't actually Chloe, but maybe it'll give, it'll give him like closure. Good job, Adonis. You used the ice spell that you promised you'd use to protect your loved ones. If only you could have used it before Doroka's eyes were gouged out. But regardless, good job, Adonis. Dub Adonis. That's not actually Chloe though, right? That's not actually Chloe though, right? Am I crazy? Or was that actually Chloe? I... It's kind of weird, because she showed up and just left. Usually you would think this is just like some kind of like mental image, some kind of nice afterthought for closure. But like, did she actually exist there? Probably not. Unless Chloe's actually alive. Knowing this show with the with ridiculous plot twist, like, it could happen. Like, especially because it's this show that does anything it wants. It Chloe could be alive, bro. I don't know. But more likely than anything. It's not actually Chloe, and it's just like, I don't know, imagery, metaphor, some kind of like nice book clothes to say, hey, Chloe's here, and she's proud of you. She's got armor! Wait, wait, wait! She gets this like new demon queen succubus armor, but her eyes aren't healed. Come on, bro. Why can't she just heal her eyes? Actually, maybe this goes into like how Adonis will take better care of her now because she's blind, and maybe he'll like really be like. He'll be like actually have to like super care about her instead of just be so mean to her all the time. It's a cool design. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing still up, bro? Are you serious? No, no, he's still frozen. Just talking. And him. Because we saw a picture of someone else that kind of looks like Adonis and there was also a feather quilt in her area. The queen also had a partner like Adonis before. Acquired the incarnation? I'll give him a salute. You know, this guy was pretty sick. Ensemble verse again. More about how Doroka and the Queen exist here. Multiverse theory, something. And of course, he just fucking goes away as soon as he's about to tell us the plot. But basically, there's like multiverse theory. There's like multiple Doroka. That's why there's like a Queen and there's Doroka. And there might be like another Adonis. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, with magic, can't you just fucking like create eyeball? Why can't you just like create eyeball with your feather? And now what? There's like half of the episode left. Someone's doing cardio now. What the fuck are we doing? Wait, isn't this the queen? Is the queen doing her cardio? Because she, because remember, the queen is a K-pop idol now. So she has to keep her figure in shape. Imagine the queen of your fucking empire just runs out here with this sexy ass cardio outfit. Look at this. Everyone is simping on the train. Oh my god. Very good question. Why is the queen being an idol? And I thought in that episode, it was just for like, just out of context memes like, oh, look, the, before we had a boomer, you know, traditional old man king empire. But now we have a queen who's like a K-pop idol. And here's what I think. With the theme of love magic, I don't think this is just like narcissist. No, no, sorry. I don't think this is just like no context out of meme, just K-pop idol stuff. No, I think that there is intent because she's a narcissist. 
She uses love magic to control everybody. They want just it's always like look at me, look at me. So the idol theme, even though it is funny, it all ties into her character and love magic, which at the end of the day is just like super narcissism. Look at me, give me all your attention kind of deal. But it's so hilarious that she just fucking goes outside and everyone sins for her. <laughs> Even the kids, bro. What the fuck is this cardio outfit? You know, this part of the ending is way better than the fight. Holy shit, yo. What the fuck is going on here? Wow, it's the queen. She's doing her morning cardio. But you know what? I mean, if I was living in this empire, I'd be pretty happy, bro. Look at this. Oh my god, dude. Hear me out. I think this is amazing, and I wish I lived in an empire where I had a queen like that, too. God, the things I do to be this towel guy. Immediately, I would take that towel and start sniffing the sweat out of it. Oh, she threw the towel. She threw the towel, guys. The crowns? Military nation Mika. Okay, the scaling is going crazy right now, right? We've seen the Eastern nation before. They're sumo battling. But we saw the, the Asian martial artists that were aware of who the queen was. So there's a... What is this? This is just an entire nation of just sexy nurses? <laughs> so... Fuck. This is season 2 content. So now the show is just like expanding. Like the scale of this universe is much bigger than we thought. Damn. Single mother... <laughs> this place is called Single Mother Nation? What do you mean? It's just a single mom? What the fuck? Oh, new character design. This is all of her like actual like high ranking members, huh? But there's a skeleton guy here too. Damn it. Well, at least if season two ever comes out, it's actually getting kind of exciting. Oh, we got the, the reconciliation uh, merch back. Did you see it? The little doll? At least he's not being a dick anymore towards her. He's actually being like considerate. Character development from Adonis. Yeah, she's she's a liability, but she's cute. She's cute and she's really nice, and her powers are great. So we're just gonna put a band around her. All right, she's 2B now. We got our blindfold waifu, guys. She's been trying to do that since like episode two, <laughs> but he's been pushing her away all this time. All right, new character design. We got a a blind maiden. You know the the blindfold archetype. All right, cool design. <laughs> if only her eyes were back, but they're not. This girl Doroka is too good for Adonis. Adonis straight up doesn't deserve her. He's terrible. Like this too. Yeah, it's supposed to be funny moments, but like, he's so mean to her. She's so nice. Like, I just feel so bad. The author is straight up fucked up for writing Doroka the way that she is. <laughs> it's Leeson. <laughs> it's 2B. What other blindfold characters are there in like anime or games? Oh, finally, Mr. Punch is tense. Mm, are we holding hands now? Oh my god. It's like we're dating. <laughs> what's slippery? What? What's slippery? A dumb witch once told me we should help each other. Is the dumb witch Doroka in this instance? <laughs> is, is, this Dor is that Doroka? Because <laughs> I doubt it's Chloe that he's going to call a dumb witch. All right. There's actual character development between these two. Everything is looking pretty good. And we're heading off to a new arc of different nations, but that's season two content, man. Post credit scene. Yamato's sister, I think. Cause she touched the machine and she got all fucked up. Not happening, not happening. And ladies and gentlemen, just like that, the kingdom of ruin has ended. And you know what? The first couple episodes, like those were pretty pop off episodes. I think it was the gimmick of a revenge story that everyone fell for. And it was pretty enticing, right? It was a huge emotional response and it was translated well into views. But obviously the views kind of drop off before because people realize that this is kind of a gimmick and it's kind of mid kingdom of mid mid of ruins. I don't really know. There were some good moments. There were some pretty bad moments. The last couple episodes were kind of mid. The episodes before that were pretty fucking good. Overall, I think it was a very entertaining anime with insane plot twists, and it was a very fun watch. Season 2 also looks very promising because, you know, there's like a new different nation, like single mother nation sounds hilarious. If it ever gets announced, we can probably check it out. And until then, take care, guys.